dear viewers you are welcome in today's participation in our last class we described how to write a good paragraph but our today's topic will be a little bit different today we will discuss a topic which will be very helpful for SSC and ACC learners our SSC and ACC students have to describe graph chart and map in their examination actually describing graph chart and maps can be both writing and speaking skill since our students have to uh, write them in their examination so it is included into uh, writing skill but if the student describe it orally then it will be a speaking skill so what I actually uh, what I want to say is that um, speaking and writing skills are totally connected with one another now let us come to the point our today's topic is describing graph chart map table and diagram okay actually in graph chart and map what is the main thing the main thing is data here we can see in the screen that data can be represented in many ways the main types are graph pie chart bar chart diagram table chart and map data is the heart of graph ch pie chart bar chart diagram table chart and map in the question a set of data are provided through graph chart or maps and you have to describe them in your own language so there is nothing worrying about them stay with me for next 10 minutes and build your confidence okay now here there is a picture what can we see we can see that here uh, some educational materials are, are provided okay uh, here we can see pencils okay pencils pencils we can see scale scale we can see eraser eraser okay we can see sharpener sharpener and pen here we can see five items okay a uh, pencil scale pen sharpener and eraser okay now suppose uh, pencil the pencil is represented with green color scale is represented with blue color pen is represented with yellow color sharpener with pink color and eraser with purple color okay now uh, with these colors we can describe these items okay now here the picture is pencil so pencil this uh, green colors represents the number of pencils here we can count one two three four five six seven and eight so we can say uh, counting the uh, uh, counting the colors we can say that there are eight pencils here in the same way counting the uh, blue color because blue color represents scale so counting the blue color we can say how many scales are there let us count one two three so we can easily say three scales are provided here okay now these educational materials can be provided into a chart here okay now please you see here uh, uh, this axis represents types of school supplies and here these are the number of supplies in our last picture we, we saw that there were eight pencils so pencil represents green color and here we can easily say that uh, we have eight pencils scale the blue color represents scale so we can understand that there are three scales here the yellow color represents pens 
So we can easily understand that there are two pen here. In the same way, we can understand how many, uh, what is the number of sharpener and eraser. Actually, this is nothing but what you are given in the the data are given in the picture you have to describe them in your own language okay now let us see what is graph okay a graph is a pictorial representation that shows data or values in an organized manner here what can we see this is the picture of a graph okay here scores in math test a person's scores in math test is uh, given here in this graph we can say we can see that in test one the student scored 60 in test two he scored 40 in test three he scored 70 in test four he scored 80 in test five 70 Text 6, 90, text 7, 60, text 8, 9, and 10. So actually, uh, uh, we can easily understand by graph that uh, what was the student score in mathematics. Okay. Now, there is a pie chart. Yes. Actually, pie chart is a circle which is divided into segments. Here, you can see some segments here it is usually used to show percentages yes pie chart always shows us percentages you can see here there are so many percentages okay now let us discuss about the pie chart population in continents okay now here this color indicates the continents in asia asia the blue color represents asia continent so let us come to the blue color asia so in asia the population is 30.13 percent in australia australia represents which color purple color okay in australia uh, the population is 12.66 percent uh, the <coughs> yellow color represents north america let us come to uh, see how many population uh, are there in North America. Since yellow color represents North America, we can easily guess that in North America, the population is 24.06%. So, uh, this is the way how a person has to describe pie chart. Now, let us come to bar chart. What is bar chart? It is a diagram that makes information easier to understand by showing how two or more sets of data are related here more than two data are related are described here actually it represents it gives the information it makes us easier to understand how these data are related with one another a bar chart is divided into columns okay in every bar chart where there you will find so many columns it is uh, you can easily understand that it is a bar chart okay now the bar chart manufacturer of buses by month here we can easily understand that in January month uh, the uh, uh, 600 buses were manufactured in the month of February the number of manufacturer of buses were 800 in the same way in the march of, in in the month of march april may june july august you can see the highest number of buses were manufactured in july month and the lowest number was manufactured in january month so you will describe at first in january month how many buses were manufactured in february march april in the in the in that way all the months and last of all you will summarize the matter that in we can see that in july month uh, the manufacturer of buses were large the, the highest and in the month of january it was the lowest okay now let us go to uh, another thing that is called diagram okay 
what a diagram is actually a diagram is a simplified drawing showing the appearance structure or working of something a schematic representation here in this schematic representation you can see that uh, what are the leadership activities yes leadership and data okay what are the activities of a leader leader a leader has to plan he has to design the company he has to uh, construct the roles he has to uh, maintenance uh, he have to uh, tr provide training to the employees so many things so uh, this is called a diagram whenever you uh, describe a diagram uh, you will uh, you clearly define everything that what are the activities okay next let us come to a table chart okay a table chart is a very common thing that is used in our daily activities to represent data in a table chart data are arranged in rows and columns you see please rows and columns in table chart data are represented in rows and columns what can we see in the table chart we can see that world population the population of the world is represented here okay now we can understand that in africa uh, nine percent population live okay in 1950 whenever it was 2000 uh, the population uh, uh, increases to 13 percent and in 2050 it is estimated that africa's population will be 20 percent okay in the same way in asia in 1950 the population was 56 percent in 2000 the population is 60 percent and in 2050 it will uh, it is estimated that it will be 59 percent okay in that way you have to describe a table chart okay now uh, here a, a new thing that is map okay a diagramic representation of an area of land or sea showing the cities rivers roads etc what is a map in a map you have been uh, given some um, physical features of cities rivers roads etc here we can see the administrative divisions of Bangladesh whenever you uh, want to describe a map you will say that uh, you will say that uh, here we are given a map in the map we can easily understand that there are how many divisions one two three four five six seven there are seven divisions actually this is not this is a previous uh, picture of our map uh, in the uh, map, we are given seven divisions. They are Rampur, Dhaka, Selet, Chittagong, Borishal, Khulna, and Rashahi. We can see Dhaka. It is at the center of our country. It is at the middle of our country. We can see Selet at the eastern part. At the eastern part, Chittagong. Okay, and that is the Bay of Bengal. Okay, in that way, you have to describe it okay now actually whenever you want to describe a graph chart or map you have to uh, uh, describe them with three sections number one introduction then masses and last of all conclusion okay what do you say in the introduction actually introduction lets us know what the graph or chart or map is about okay what is the what is about the graph what is about the map this is uh, given in the introduction okay so in, in introduction whenever you write down introduction you can say you can start the sentences just like the graph is about or the chart deals with or the graph clearly shows okay now a message actually this is the body of the uh, writing part this portion describes us the detailed information provided the following phrases can be used in this portion it highlights the number increases goes up goes by okay uh, no problem actually i will discuss them a little bit later okay now let us go to conclusion okay it summarizes the whole conclusion summarizes the whole it gives a short idea 
it gives a clear idea of the whole thing in a, a very short message. The following phrases can be used here. This is the highest number. This is the second largest number. That is the lowest number. So we can say these phrases can be used. These phrases can be used in conclusion. Okay, now uh, some students uh, are worried about uh, tenses. They frequently ask us, sir, in which tenses we have to write a graph chart or map? Okay, for this region, I have, uh, I am, I am telling you that uh, whenever, uh, when describing a graph chart or map, okay, you have to mind it that if it deals with the facts in the present, use the simple present. If the graph chart or map deals with the present thing, you have to use the simple present tense okay but if the facts are the past then you simple past okay sometimes it happens that there is a connection between the past and the present in that situation you are told to use the present perfect tense okay is it clear to you so you can use present tense you can use past tense at the same time if there is a combination of present and past tense then you use present perfect tense okay now there are some parts that are frequently used in graph chart and map suppose the number the data increases okay uh, this symbol uh, symbolizes increase and this symbol uh, indicates falling down so if the data increases you can say rise or increase or go up or climb if it falls down then you can say fall decrease go down or reduce okay there are some verbs that are frequently used okay what does it uh, symbolize it it symbolizes stability stable stable so if the data do not uh, increase if the data uh, doesn't uh, decrease then you can use remain steady remain stable no change maintain the same level there are some adverbs that are frequently used okay dramatically significantly sharply rapidly slightly suddenly gradually steadily slowly okay Yes, this line, these lines is the summary of what we have discussed so far. Okay, suppose the data increases here, but here it goes down. Here it increases and goes down, then again increases. Actually, this is the fluctuating situation. In that way, in that situation, you can use the word fluctuate. Okay. Uh, this is the stable point okay stable point this is the stable point the data increases a lot then you can say increases sharply sharply a lot of increase means increases sharply okay the data increase a little this is the stable point okay increases a little then you can say increases slightly okay if the data remains same this you can say remains steady suppose the data goes down a little then you can say decreases slightly if the data goes down uh, uh, a lot then you can say it decreases sharply okay actually we have discussed a lot of things about graph chart and map actually i am now summarizing the whole thing in one or two minutes actually what you have to do what what you have to do is that Mm, at first you will uh, you have to understand what is this is it a graph or chart or map so if it is a graph you can say here we are given a graph if it is a uh, chart you can say we are given a chart okay in the next sentence you will say uh, the introduction the graph shows or the map shows or the chart shows then you will write down the podium in the graph we see that okay uh, in the month of january or in the month of february uh, the temperature is uh, 18 18 point 
0 to degree Celsius but whenever it was the month of uh, February then it was uh, a little there was a little bit of increase it uh, it goes down and it became uh, 22 degree okay and after describing the whole thing you will say uh, in which month the temperature was the highest and which month the temperature was the lowest and at the in that way you can summarize the whole thing okay so actually there is no worrying about these things if you uh, understand my uh, what I say please don't forget to give me a like or share it okay goodbye